I tell you who I ran into yesterday? Did I? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Only fucking me, dude. Only me. Works at Walmart. And he's going down an aisle. He looks over. And he sees the woman who six years prior... I really thought she was going to date rape me and she was pregnant with some other dude's kid. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> I mean, what do you say in that situation? <laughs> you know? And I'm like, and this fuck, this is my uniform. And I'm, I'm not looking, I'm not feeling great because I fucking work at Walmart for Christ's sake. <laughs> so, like, it's just, but she was busted all the fucking hell. <laughs> Shit. Like, I worked at Walmart, but at least, like, I still look good, at least, you know? <laughs> and it was fucking crazy. Because, like, alright, I met her working at Blockbuster, where I lived here originally. Right. And she would come in the store all the time, and she was with this dude. And, like, the second she would come in, she would just fucking flock to me. And just, we would just talk it up. And, uh, <laughs> we became friends. And then he went overseas. And I was dating Liz at the time. And she was having, like, I don't want to say her name, so I'll just call her her. She was having a hard time. So with, with, she just found out she was pregnant. The baby's dad is in fucking Afghanistan. It's a hard thing to deal with. And we were just friends. Got stressed this enough, we were just friends. <laughs> And Liz fucking hung out with all of her ex-boyfriends, so who the fuck is she to judge me? And so I go to visit her, and the entire time, like, Liz is blowing up my fucking phone. She's like, what are you doing? What's going on? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm fucking hanging out with a friend. We went to fucking Walmart. Oh, the irony. <laughs> and uh, then we went to Checkers, and then we went to her place. She's like, that sounds like a date to me. I'm like, you've got the bar really fucking low. What kind of dirtbags are you dating? That's a fucking date. That's a, that's a Saturday at best. I mean, like, seriously, you need to be wide and die. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> and she gets all grant, grumpy, so I left. And I got there at, like, 9. I have a key to her house. I was fucking homeless pretty much. And she shows up at, like, fucking midnight. And she got off work, so I was sitting there for... Three fucking hours just waiting. Nowhere else to go. And she fucking just walks right in and slams the door. And then... Two hours pass and a roommate comes home. I'm like, dude, can you please let me in the fucking house? Like, I've got nowhere to go. He's like, hold on. And he opens the door and he goes, shuts it. And I hear the lock click. It's like, motherfucker, really? <laughs> My shit's in there. <laughs> He comes back, he's like, I'm not supposed to let you in. And he shuts it and locks it again. And then, like, half hour, hour, I don't remember, I lost track of time at this point. She opens the door, lets me in. Next day, she kicks me out, and we're broken up. <laughs> and I'm homeless again, that's, that's key. So I start staying with a friend, and I kind of knew... Like, I had ran my last leg here. Like, it was, I was fucking grasping at straws at that fucking point, let's be honest. <laughs> and she was about to go, she, the girl that I met, oh, I almost said her name, that was almost bad. <laughs> the girl that I met, saw back at Walmart, <clears throat> we'll call her the pregnant chick. Fair enough, <laughs> that's easy. Uh, she's going to Afghanistan to visit. And so I had to go say goodbye to her. Again, just friends. <laughs> and the entire night I just listened to her talk about like how scared she was about traveling with the baby and how she missed him but she was so alone trigger words if you're following me and uh, so yeah that sucks um, I gotta go because <laughs> this is really hard and at this point I also had found out that Liz had a miscarriage it's like when she threw me out she was fucking pregnant and she lost it. That was a whole other ordeal we won't go into. <laughs> so, like, I was hurting from that, and she was helping me through it. And then whenever she went to say goodnight, she put me on the front porch, and I said, I'm fucking leaving. I gotta, I gotta go. I've got nowhere else to live. I have to go back to Texas. And she pauses. 
and then she hugs me really tight. And you can tell a lot about the way someone hugs you, right? Like if they hold you really close and they rub your back, lean in, triggers, right? And then she pulled away ever so slightly and she looked at me and she goes, I don't want to leave town without having done, or I don't want to, I don't want you to leave forever without having done this first. And she fucking kisses me hard and brought her fucking, fucking front porch and her neighbors know <laughs> the situation. It's, it's, it's bad. I said, we, we shouldn't do this here. She's like, you want to come inside? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> and I do. And we're on the couch and her fucking shirt comes off and she doesn't have a bra and we're just fucking dry humping and making out and it was good because I really liked this girl. And like, my brain kind of shuts off for a little while and it usually doesn't come back on until the worst possible fucking moment, and which it should be happening at three, two, one. Wait, we can't do this. You know, your your fucking boyfriend is in Afghanistan. He's fighting for our country. You're pregnant with his fucking kid. This is wrong. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to instigate anything. If I did, if I give you a sign, I'm sorry, but we can't do this. She kind of gets away from me. And she's like, you're just like every other man. You get what you want, and then you fucking walk away. And I said, technically, if I was getting what I want, we'd both be naked, and you'd be enjoying yourself a lot more than you are presently. I'm trying to do the right thing. <laughs> Over the next several hours, it just goes back and forth to, like, I'm a good person, to, you're a piece of fucking shit, and I hope you die, you're, you're the worst type of guy. And I just sit there for hours and just take it because she's my friend, I guess. I don't know. I just fucking saw her in the store. Why the fuck am I here? <laughs> <laughs> it was like 5 o'clock in the morning. She's like, well, you just sleep here because I don't want to be alone tonight. I was like, okay. <laughs> Terrified that some point during the night she'd either come in with lingerie or a fucking knife or maybe both. And I didn't know which it was going to be, so I fucking rolled the dice anyway. As Mickey would say, I have no self-preservation. And I wake up and everything's fine and I'm awkwardly say goodnight. Or good morning, I guess. Go back to Jonathan's. And then I have to work at like another store and I'm managing it and it's always fucking weird. And it was just stressful anyways. And she's blowing up my fucking phone all day long. Like, I hate you. You're a good guy. I hate you. I love you so much. You should come talk to me. I fucking hate you. You're just like everybody else. We need to talk. Okay. Triggers. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> so, it's been the longest fucking night ever. I start driving to her house, and she lets me in, and we go upstairs, which I take as a bad fucking sign, anyways. And it's her computer room where she takes me to, and she's doing like emails, and I'm on the couch as far fucking away as possible. Because that's, that's like enough room to run if I need to. <laughs> And then, I don't remember what she said, because I wasn't listening. I was in fight-or-flight mode at that point. And she turns, and she looks at me, and she doesn't say a fucking word. And she just walks over, and she fucking straddles me. And I'm like, no. Oh. Oh. And she leans in to kiss me, and I kind of go like that, and she goes, don't fight me. I'm like, I'm about to be raped by a pregnant chick. This doesn't happen to anybody but me. <laughs> She starts kissing me, and I just kind of let it happen. And then she kisses her way down. She undoes my pants, and they're around my fucking ankles. And she gets right here. Grabs me with both hands. Looks me right in the eyes. Bursts into tears, and runs out the fucking room. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, going, well, that's never happened before. <laughs> Jesus. I was still fucking naked, and I hear her run down the stairs, and out the door, shut the door, get into her car, start it the fuck up, back out, and just take off. Literally pants around my fucking ankles, what do you do? And then I hear her pull, and like, just, uh, right back into the fucking parking lot, or the her parking space, slams the door, I don't hear the front door open. So I fucking pull my shit up. And I'm just ashamed. <laughs> and I look out and I realize this bitch is parked 
catty corner where I can't get the fuck out. And she's on the phone with her fucking boyfriend right now outside the front door. Holy shit. Fight or flight, fight or flight. Fucking get the fuck out. So I run down the stairs and I open the door. She's sitting there like this. I see her turn. And she's got the phone out. Like, I don't know what the fuck she's telling him. So I just walk and I sit by my car and I start to smoke. And I stay there for two fucking hours. So I can't go anywhere. <laughs> and she goes, Dad, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay. So I go into her house and she's sitting right here. And she goes, we need to talk. And I'm like, well, obviously we got some shit to work out. And she says, I'm very attracted to you, obviously, but we can't do anything. My boyfriend is in Afghanistan fighting for our country. I'm pregnant with his kid. This is wrong. I'm like, yeah, I know. I tried to tell you that last night and call me a piece of shit. Remember that? <laughs> and for like the next, again, hour and a half, she starts to break up with me. I mean, we weren't even where we were together. <laughs> so she goes on the trip. Um, she calls me like a few days later. And she's in Afghanistan. And she's like, I think I want to be with you. You planted the seed of doubt. I want to run away with you and raise this baby with you. We can do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I moved to Texas and changed my number. That bitch was crazy. 